dive in. UFC Island. Dana White bought an island, a private this is island. exactly what I thought was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, that's a ridiculous. Uh, it's so insane. So, Justin Gaethje uh, has already come out and said uh, when he hits Tony Ferguson, he's going to go to sleep. So, he's already calling for a knockout, even though he hadn't had a... And, and you fully expect that with, uh, you know, UFC fights and whatnot. The main card and the preliminary card uh, have been finalized. And they have a full allotment of fights for April 18th for UFC 249. We already talked about Tony Ferguson and Justin Gaethje. Uh, I think that's going to be actually a more entertaining fight than Habib and Tony Ferguson. Uh, Just from a pure bystander, you know, whatever. I understand it's not the most technically whatever. Habib is the best fighter in the world. We get that. But I think this is going to be a fantastic fight. They've also got uh, Jessica Andrade. Uh, against Rose Nabajunas, Jorgen De Castro against Greg Hardy. You remember Greg Hardy, of course. Yeah, uh, I do. Yeah. That's that's going to be a fun one because it's guys that like to punch. So, right. uh, Nico Price and uh, Vincente uh, Luque, who I have watched them before. I don't know how to say the Vin- Vincente's whatever Vicente whatever his name is Luque. I don't know all about him. What I know is I watched this fight like. I want to say a year and a half ago, maybe. And it was fantastic. These guys are incredibly entertaining. Uh, So I'm I'm looking forward to that. And then Kelvin Qatar against Jeremy Stevens. That's another one of those that is, uh, that's fun. And and they they got a lot of good full fights. They've got Uriah Hall against Ronaldo Souza. Um, Francis Naganu against, check this one out. Rosenstruck is his last name. Uh, Jarzino Rosenstruck. And then Alexander Hernandez against Omar Morales, Marlon Vera against Ray Borg, Michael Johnson against Kama Worthy. Uh, they, they got they got dudes. They actually got names. They've got a lot of fun fights on this card, and it is stacked, absolutely stacked. Um, so we've already gone through the card and whatnot, but let's talk about how they are doing this. You were dead on. You said he was going to go. Buy some place and and do it where you don't have to worry about anything else. The only thing that worries me about this, if these if it's some private island wherever, how do you sanction it? How like it we we talked about this yesterday, right? That not being able to sanction it almost makes it WWE ish with me because they can set up whatever storyline they want. But they're it, not gonna do that. And they may not. It just worries me. They, they're just that's just not how the sport works. I don't know why that would worry you. That's an insane thought. It's an insane thought, but that's why boxing the, matches are sanctioned. Yeah, and they're and all corrupt they throw too. Them. Yeah, uh, you, I mean, you've got a valid point. I just sanctioning I don't know. does nothing to prevent any of this wrongdoing because we can't prove any of it ever. That's true. That's true. So I'm not worried about it. Dana White runs a tight ship. UFC has become successful and been what it is now because he does things on the up and up. Yeah. Good business people don't do shitty things all the time. And he is, he's definitely a good businessman. And I'll it would give just him that. be so bad for his brand and real, really hard to keep everybody's mouth shut. The person that has to take the dive, not only do you have to pay them a lot today, what happens 10 years from now when they get bored and broke? And you're talking about fighters that are broke all the time. Yeah. How much money do you pay? There's not enough hush money in the world. That's why it's always bad to pay somebody to keep their mouth shut. Yeah. Because you eventually run out of money. Yeah. My, Mike, actually, interesting that you bring that up. Uh, he said, I think they want to fight to make some money. They're going to make a killing. Uh, Joseph Gomez, yes. uh, here we go. <laughs> Uh, Joseph Gomez jumped in. Sanctioning just means he paid the state money to hold the event in case someone dies. It's it's That's basically right. an insurance thing. Um, yep. But I'm sure that he's got insurance figured out on this island anyway. No, no doubt. All these, yeah. It's part of the UFC agreement. I assure you, these guys are under contract with the UFC. They have something in their contract protecting them from anything that a state would protect them with. This is the libertarian in me coming out right now. That regulations don't always work. I'm not the guy that says we don't need driver's license, but I'm also the guy that says 
every city in the world that's heavily regulated has far more problems with their infrastructure than places that aren't because true companies that go to these places that don't have to jump through a bunch of red tape. They do good work. I work for a bunch of builders. They're not heavily regulated in the state of Mississippi at all. These guys have a lot of pride in how they build. Okay. They still build a good quality house, even though a lot of them could cut corners and build a crap house. They choose not to, they don't. Yeah. Because it's bad business by the way. Oh yeah. It, it'll hurt years, you down the road. Gets out, your reputation's gone. Yeah, and then and then you can't build. So it ju- I'm not saying no regulations, but I'm telling you, sanctioning doesn't work because, i.e., boxing, a sport we love and a sport we know, has a problem with things being fixed. Yeah, that's and sanctions I, hadn't stopped that for what our entire lifetime. Huey I can't speak for any time before that. Huey sent me uh, a link the other day about uh, it was Teddy Atlas on uh, Joe Rogan talking about the corruption in the sport of boxing. And you and I have, we, we listen to Rogan's podcast, you know, here and there. And I had actually listened to this however long ago it was. Um, but it was all the discussions that you and I have had about, you know, uh, Triple G and Canelo. And, you know, it, it just go back and forth. Uh, the, the fight that, um, God bless, what's it, uh, Pacquiao. The fight the, that Pacquiao, the Pacquiao lost. fight's the biggest fight for me. Yeah, the, the one in, against in Joe Australia. Horn. Yeah, it's the Joe Horn one. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just, yeah, it, it, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. All those were sanctioned fights. What'd they do for them? Absolutely nothing. No, it's nothing. the sanctioning. I don't think has to do with, uh, and necessarily the, the fixing at, I, I feel like mentally for me, like knowing that it's sanctioned by somebody just means one, that everybody's safe and two, that there's no hijinks. And yet you're exactly right. Like there's still hijinks. It doesn't matter. Like it, yeah. You're you're right. I do, I do think that this is going to be a lot of fun. UFC 249 is going yeah. to be an absolute freaking. I wonder this. I seriously wonder this. Once a year, does he just do a fight down there? Once this thing goes down, is that where he does most of his fights at now? And, and well, he, not all of them, but a lot of them. And he builds an arena, and people fly there to go to fights because I'm going to bet it's probably he, in a pretty baller place. That probably you can get a boat to. Pretty he, easily. He said that it's uh this is where he's going to do like he's gonna do fights every weekend there for the next two months. Well, while we're stuck here, yeah. And but, that means he's gotta have a lot of fighters, by the way. A lot of fighters. Yeah, a lot of fighters that are warning. I was to fight. thinking just get enough for this card. Hell, get you know, get twelve guys and, and you can you can got a you got a six fight card and we're done. You're gonna do fights every weekend. Yeah, he's got for twenty two months. He's got twenty four fighters right now. For this card, yeah, that's all. So, so he he's got a ton of fight next week. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait to but see. But he it. will print money if he does one every week or every two weeks or whatever. He will print money right now because he's the only guy going. Yeah, no, you're uh, you're dead on about that. All right, let's move into 